Greetings YouTube. I just wanted to uh, take a minute to show you some of the features that I've been uh, cobbling together for Marlin firmware because I've been having so much fun with it and uh, I just love to show off this stuff because I'm, I don't know, what can I say? I'm a geek. <laughs> and uh, I've been having so much fun with this stuff, uh, just learning how to program Arduino and, and how to interface with this. Uh, just learning by really by just sifting the Marlin firmware source code on GitHub and uh, forking it and just making features and just trying to like uh, chop through the code and see what I can make it do uh, without breaking things hopefully and I've had a lot of fun and had some good luck um, so let's take a look and see what I've done so far so here so far you can see uh, not too much different on the front screen but what I have done is taken the Z there we go and I've gotten rid of all the extra digits so that it's pretty much just shows as many digits as it needs to and that makes it more clean and looks more like XYZ uh, X and Y will be more uh, consistent with the Z uh, the other thing is um, let's see on the front screen that's visible not too much that's pretty much it um, if I go into here you can see uh, the SD changes I've made and you can't really tell by looking but maybe if you're used to using Marlin you'll know that if you do this a lot you do this very fast it'll start to glitch out because it's reading the SD card and trying to keep up uh, I've, what I've done is I've got an Arduino uh, I've got a nice Mega 2560 over there uh, that has plenty of RAM 8K of SRAM and so that extra RAM is useful and most of the cards are going to have this now um, so what I've done is, oop, that click is one of the changes I made, it's not intentional but it, it works for me um, but uh, the, uh, yeah, so let's take a look and see what I've done with the SD so the extra SRAM, yeah, makes it so much better and smoother uh, the other thing that I've done as you can see is Bowden calibration extruders, G code, etc. Let's go into. Do I have a test folder that I made? I used to. Maybe I'll just put. Maybe it's in here now. Drone. Drone. Well, the thing that you can see is that not only is it faster and smoother, but it's also alphabetical. I added sorting, a little bubble sort in there, and it actually works even on um, cards that don't have much RAM. It does the bubble sort, you know, just as it's reading. It does a little pre-scan of the directory before it reads it uh, and shows it on the screen and just generates a little one byte per file entry key that it uses to sort from, and that's as uh, conservative as you can get. But if you don't, if you don't have much RAM at all, like 3K is about what I have now when I build this and it shows when you start Marlin, tells you how much RAM you have free. It says it's got about uh, about 3K free and uh, that 3K is like certainly enough to be able to do a file listing and it's it actually does keep these all in RAM if you tell it to uh, but only if you start printing it actually clears it out so that you know it frees it up and so the if you have a listing that I don't think you'll have one that's over 3k long actually that's like a lot of, of characters surprising number of characters um, but if you do uh, then you get a lot of things to print I can tell you that um, so that's one of the other things um, and then one cool thing I thought I'd try was what if I could make a progress bar so we'll do a little print and I have a, a file specifically set up for this. We'll just go to utility, which is alphabetically at the bottom here. And also you'll notice it's listing folders above files. That's an option that you can set in the firmware, uh, the configuration ADV file. So let's go to my little progress test here and you'll see all this does is, is uh, homes the printer, which currently is I just ran the progress test so it's actually going the z-axis has a ways to go before it gets to the bottom sorry about the wheat but while it's doing that you can see that it's showing on the screen hey I'm at three percent and at, all you can see on the left is like this little tick 
and that's actually the progress bar starting up. So normally it also tells you the name of what you're printing. Uh, I'll show you that after, but it's just about done. It's going to home in a second, and then this will start up going, and it basically just homes, whoop, and then it just starts going up, 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 and as it does so, you can see there's our progress bar. And you can see the Z doing its thing. It's going up one millimeter at a time, so you don't see the point, whatever, but it is there when you need it. It'll say 45.1 or 48.2. There you go, I've got a message. It prints the message. Right now I have it configured to show it for about five seconds, and then it expires. Then it goes back to the progress bar. So around 70, I clear the message completely, and then it just keeps the progress bar going. And then at the end, dun dun dun, 94. Interestingly, it never says 100%. And I don't know exactly why it doesn't, but I think that should be altered. But it does that, and then boom, done. So it only expires messages during the progress bar. And that's one of the options. It will show it for five seconds or whatever, and then. That's an M117 code on your Marlin firmware. Uh, so that works pretty well. And then the other thing that I did, which you'll see now, is pretty cool, is when you actually go to print something from your SD card, it used to put this ugly short file name on the screen, and now it actually puts the, the full file name on. So simple enough, and I'm not going to wait for that. Also, the other thing that I've done is when you stop a print, you go back to the info screen, it says print aborted, which is just a minor quibble, but it used to be that if you had a message on the screen that came out of your G code, it just sat there, and you know, even after you aborted the print, and it, if you came back an hour later and looked at your screen, you'd be like, what does that mean? So now you know you've aborted your print, it just says it's proper status. And uh, well, those are the main changes I've made to Marlin so far. I've uh, been trying to clean up the code a bit and uh, make it a little cleaner, but of course I don't want to cause a million conflicts with uh, with everybody's uh, work and everybody's forks. So it's kind of hard right now. There's you know 70 pull requests in the queue and uh, a lot of things that we'd certainly like to do, I'd certainly like to do anyway, clean up the code, maybe make it more object-oriented, especially the LCD support uh, folder. I think it would be good if things were a little more C++, it might even make it more optimal, we'll see, but I'm going to experiment with that, but that's this has been my uh, main thing, is just getting into the code and learning how to make changes like that, and the progress bar was an interesting uh, problem, and I'll tell you why, <laughs> just while I've got you here. Um, first, you have these custom characters like the little H, and the little thermometer, and the little FR, and the little clock. And there's another one up here, which is the degree character. These are all custom. There's eight custom characters you're allowed to make, and on this front screen, five of them are used. My progress bar needs three of them, three more. But you'll notice that this up arrow here, uh, right there, that's a custom character as well. There's another custom character you won't get to see, which is the refresh character. And then there's one more, um, the folder character, of course. This is also a little custom character, the little folder. So all of those are custom characters, and you are limited to eight. So what I had to do was make it so to show the progress bar, I set the three custom characters to little progress bar characters when we're on this screen, and then when we're not, if we're on any other screen, it's using the folder character, the up character, and the refresh character, which you don't get to see. So that's that was the trick I had to do. Uh, it's the limitation of the Hitachi HD44780 controller, which is the most common controller you'll find on these LCDs. So, there we go. We learned a lot. Um, having a lot of fun getting through limitations. By the way, the hook I added means you can now put custom characters wherever. So, if you needed to put them on the... over here where you're changing temperatures, you wanted to have something like a little, you know up-down arrow or something just to indicate that this will change it. You could put that there if you wanted. So, who knows? Could be fun to play more with custom characters. Anyway, that's Marlin Firmware for now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.